So in a series of learning Python programming languages, the previous video we have seen what are nested if, nested if else and elif statements, right? Plus one coding exercise we have seen how to calculate BMI and after calculating BMI you have to tell like you are underweight, overweight or normal weight or like this, right? Now one more exercise, coding exercise for you is you have to uh, write down a program to check whether a given number is leap year or not. It is a little bit tricky one, right? Now, first of all, you you have to know what is leap year and how to calculate this. Generally, a year contains 365 days and leap year contains 366 days, 29 days in February, right? So, how to calculate this is leap year or not? If you know the formula, the logic, then I would suggest, first of all, write down the algorithm, write down in the steps, then convert that into flow chart and then try to write down a program, right? If you have written down the algorithm and you have drawn the flow chart, then it would be very easy for you to convert these, you know, the flow chart into program. But first understand the logic, right? It's not like that, just start writing program, right? First understand the problem, the logic and all, think the logic, right? And if you don't know, if you know the logic, how to find out, how to check the layer is leap year or not, just pause the video and and uh, try to write down the program. If you don't know how to find out the given number is leap year or not, then let me just brief you. See, what we will do, there are three to four steps. First of all, we'll check if the number is divisible by, divisible by four, completely, evenly divisible by four, right? Then it may be leap year, we can't say it would be a leap year, but it is, if it is not divisible by four, then definitely it would be not a leap year. Right? If it is divisible by 4, then you have to check, if yes, then you have to check if the number is divisible by 100. If yes, if yes, then it may be a leap year, we can't say definitely it would be a leap year. But if no, in this case if no, then definitely not a leap year. Now, if divisible by 100, then we will check if that is divisible by 400. If divisible by 400, then definitely leap year. And if it is not divisible by 400, then not a leap year. So, this is the simple logic to find out. A number is divis evenly divisible by 4, then it would be a leap year except it is evenly divisible by 100 unless it is completely divisible by divisible by 400 i think that line is confusing for you so just forget that line and see this log this is the logic right now you can uh, write down this in the form of you can say uh, algorithm or the steps or just draw the flow chart. So, let me just draw the flow chart for you, then you will get it better, the logic better, then we will write down program, right. So, we check first divisible by 4, two cases can be there, yes or no. If it is no, then not leap year, directly we can say not a leap year. If yes, then again we will check divisible by 100, 100. There could be two cases, yes, two choices, yes or no. If this case, if no, then yes, leap year, right. If this is the case divisible by 100, then again we will check one, we will check one more condition divisible by 400. Obviously two choices, two cases can be there yes or no. If divisible by 400 is yes, then leap year. If divisible by 400 is a no, then not a leap year. So I guess if you have written down that algorithm, you can easily convert that in the flow chart. So, this is the flow chart, right? I hope you got. 
when we will get leap year when you will get not a leap year so i guess now it would be easy for you to write down this thing in the form of program using if else right if you have got the previous lectures nested if nested if else simple if else if and all right then you can easily convert this thing into program now just pause the video and try out this program so now let's create a new file let's say leap underscore year dot py so we'll ask from the user which year you want to check right we will take input using the input function put only i have converted that into int now you have the flow chart with you right first of all we'll check if that is divisible by 4 if year is completely divisible by 4 means there is there should be no remainder evenly divisible by there should be no remainder right so remainder we will check using which operator modulo operator year modulo 4 equal to equal to 0 means that can be a leap year we cannot say but if it, it is not divisible by 4 then definitely it is not a leap year so for this if one else we write for this if if it is not divisible then definitely we can say not a leap year so we can write down print not leap year right now within this if what you will check see this else is for this if right now within this if now what you will check if this year is divisible by completely divisible by 100 so with no remainder means mode 100 equal to equal to 0 if this is true then it may be leap year you have to check one more condition but if it is not it is divisible by 4 completely divisible by 4 but not divisible by 100 then it is a leap year you can check out in the flow chart so for this if in the else part you will write what else leap year yes For this if this is the else leap year but within this if this condition is true if it is completely divisible by 100 then once again we will check condition if year is completely divisible by 400 means with no remainder remainder is 0 that is to find out remainder we use modulo operator. Now for this if if it is divisible by now in this case uh, 400 then yes leap year otherwise not a leap year so for this if in else we write not leap year So I hope you got, if you got the flow chart, you can easily write down this logic. But I am not saying you can only write down this thing, like that logic in this way only, if, 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 else, else. There are multiple ways also, alternatives also, you can write down this logic in other ways, right? Like maybe first of all, you will check if the year not completely divisible by 0, then it is not a leap year, else, in else part, we can check these conditions so there are multiple ways this is one of the way but whatever the logic that you need to follow that you need to write down correctly now let me just run this program and i'll show you the output so the year which year you want to check suppose 2023 not a leap year because it is not divisible by 4 first of all we'll check this thing not divisible by 4 completely divisible by 4 then we'll not go into this if and in else part directly will go not a leap year let's run this and again check for the year suppose 1900 it is divisible by 4 yes but it is still not a leap year it is divisible by 4 condition true we will enter here then divisible by 100 yes that is also true completely divisible by 100 
again enter in this case then check divisible by 400 no remainder is not zero so for this if condition is not true so we'll go into this else part and not a leap year so 1900 is not a leap year so any year you can check here suppose you want to check 2024 next year that would be a leap year right and if you want to tally then you can go to the calendar and you can check if in february we have 29 days then that is a leap year right so i hope you are done this exercise if not if you haven't got the program then please watch the video again first then understand the logic the steps the algorithm then the flow chart understand this flow chart then again convert this into a program do not just skip okay you are not getting two to three times you have tried not getting let's jump to the next lecture no this is very simple one right so please take some you can say you can take some break 10 to 15 minutes then come back to this and again write down this program and try to understand the logic and the program right so now in the next video we'll see multiple if statements with the help of one exercise and also in the next video we'll learn bye bye take care